But I think people do want to see women um, fighting. I, I do feel that because we as a nation, we have a history of, um, of Durga. We have a history of Chandi. We are very comfortable seeing a, a woman um, riding a lion or having like all kind of instruments or what you call weapons in her eight arms. So for us, it's, a, it's very visually, not only visually, but emotionally, we connect. So I think it's about time that we tap into that sentiment. Whenever a movie starring Kangana Ranaut is in the pipeline, especially in the last few years, it immediately generates polarizing reactions due to the perception of the person outside of films. My stand regarding judging movies and the talent for the work that they do in the film still stays true that I would want to wholeheartedly critique a movie for what happens inside the frame rather than the individuals and what they represent outside of it. I don't think anyone will debate or deny the fact that Kangana is an extremely capable actor and she has proven it with recent ventures as well, with Mani Karnika, Talaivi, Judgmental Hai Kya and my personal favourite Panga, despite the oscillating box office run of all those films, some successful and some not so much, everyone has raved about the conviction with which Kangana has portrayed those characters. Many people are already discounting the actor as they feel like her personality now overpowers the work she is doing, but I think the praise that she has received in her recent ventures actually proves otherwise. Irrespective, one of the major reasons why I was excited for Dhakar was because of Hindi cinema finally taking the plunge of having a badass action film with a female lead, and how much of an anomaly it is when we not only look at Hindi cinema but the Indian market across languages. It is a very well known fact that the action genre in India has been dominated by men. And the huge fan following of stars has also led to a domination of them in the genre where the one versus all narrative works perfectly in order to generate hooting and cheering in theatres. Stylized action films where the story or concept is paramount is still a very niche product in the market. But if the same action film is mounted as a star-led movie, then it generates real buzz with the masses. When you look at titles like War with Hrithik Roshan, The Tiger series with Salman Khan, Dawn with Shah Rukh, Krish with Hrithik again, The Police Universe with Rohit Shetty and even what is being attempted with the YRF spy universe. It has become clear that star-led action films in Hindi cinema have a huge market, but they are again dominated by men. This is mainly due to the years of being mounted in popular culture as aspirational action heroes and while they have over many decades developed the commercial notoriety, women have mostly been romantic interests in the same worlds or play second fiddle to the main man taking centre stage. This is also the case with movies abroad, when you look at the highest grossing movies that get produced from North America, from the Avengers, Transformers, the Fast and the Furious series, James Bond or even more stylized action films like John Wick and Mission Impossible. Possible. All are dominated by men. This is not to diss the products because I absolutely am a fan of these franchises, but to highlight the lack of representation when it comes to female-led action films and more importantly, impressive female-led action movies. When I think about the same genre in Hollywood which have thoroughly impressed me, where the female characters have kicked ass and been complemented with engaging storylines rather than forced social messaging, I think of the first Wonder Woman film, Atomic Blonde with Charlize Theron, Hunger Games with Jennifer Lawrence, Sicario with Emily Blunt, and of course, classics like Tomb Raider and Kill Bill. When the messaging is in the storyline rather than jarringly fed to us through dialogues and most importantly, an attention to detail goes into making the sequences stylized and well choreographed, an audience organically gravitates towards such treatment. The forced social messaging and terrible treatment of action set pieces led to the downfall of ventures like Charlie's Angels and Ocean's 8. The badass female lead in the action genre is a rarity when you think of the case of Hindi cinema. The only well-executed female-led action movies that I can think of where women are at the helm of affairs and don't have any room for BS is Mardani with Rani Mukherjee, Sameh with Sushmita Sen, Naam Shabana with Tapsi Pannu and Radhika Madan in Mard Ko Dard Nahi Hota. While Katrina Kaif did have sequences solely dedicated to her in the Tiger franchise, it would be naive not to admit that she still plays supporting character to Salman, who does most of the badass stunts. This is where I feel Dhakar with Kangana Ranaut comes as a refreshing change in a market that has been saturated with star-led action films and at least from the teaser aims to put a capable female actor in the lead role and do and perform what has mostly been seen on the international stage and rarely in India.
to defy the cultural norm of how a woman should be perceived, mainly being reduced to a romantic interest in storylines and being much more than just being pursued by the hero. Dhakar will be focusing on Agent Agni, played by Kangana Ranaut, who has been assigned a mission that takes her from the heartland of India to even Central Asia and Budapest. One of the striking qualities from the teaser that stayed with me was the cinematography by Tetsuo Nagata, a renowned DOP who has contributed his skill to well-known films like Lavi and Rose, Splice and 125 Years Memory. The colours that are presented in the teaser are very distinct and provide a glimpse of what made John Wick 3 Parabellum so special. The distinct style and demeanour of Kangana Ranaut and what the creators are going for with their vision reminds me of Jennifer Lawrence's Red Sparrow, in which the individuals are trained and catered to being deadly assassins with little to no remorse, specifically designed for combat so that they don't get swayed by emotions. To see some of the shots created in which Kangana is in a dark tunnel and wheelies her way through or takes part in physical combat with knives and what seems to be a covert mission in the end with presumably the entire intelligence force, it makes me believe that the action is going to be definitely exhilarating and entirely meant for a theatre experience. I can't really say much on how the treatment of the film's storyline will be but what I can attest to is that it is a breath of fresh air to see a stylized action film with a female lead playing a capable spy and persevering against all odds to have a success mission. We will all have to wait and see if the film challenges the international quality delivered in the action genre. The teaser definitely delivers in getting me excited about the same. And that was the video guys. Write down in the comments below what you thought about the teaser. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, the handle is right in front of you. Follow me at jammypants4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.